This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Edge of Reality. This design is being sponsored by From Daisy to Paisley, a book of 50 beginner level free motion quilting fillers. Check out this book at the Daystyle Designs Quilt Shop and support this free motion quilting project. That's at daystyledesigns.com. Now let's get back to Edge of Reality. This design is stitched in basically three parts. The first step is to stitch this wiggly foundational line throughout your quilting space. This line is going to be the base of the entire design and you want it to be very smooth and curvy just like this. Now we're going to start the second part of the design and that is echo quilting this foundation. What you'll want to do is basically pick a set distance that you're going to maintain between that foundational line and the line you're stitching and stick with it. Um, you're just going to stitch that distance away throughout that quilting space. So you're going to just simply uh, echo quilt that foundation throughout your quilting space. And this is actually quite slow. You can see how uh, slowly I'm stitching here. So I'm going to speed this up to double speed. And that's going to come in right here. So you can see how much it's sped up. And the reason for that is I just simply cannot show you the full um, length of me stitching at that very slow pace. So I'm, I've sped this up and I want you to see how this is kind of just moving back and forth. It's actually not very difficult. The design looks intense. Um, it has a very intense texture, but that doesn't mean that it's hard to quilt. So I'm just simply echo quilting. And the biggest trick with echo quilting is maintaining that consistent distance apart. And every once in a while you'll see that I get a little off, a little too close, or a little far away. But that's okay. Um, it's certainly nothing to go back and rip your stitches out for. You want to just continue to maintain uh, as close a distance as you can, but you know, don't worry about it if it gets off a little bit. The biggest thing in echo quilting is um, to look at the space between the lines that you're stitching. Not on the line, don't stare at your needle, that's not going to get you anywhere. And uh, don't really pay attention to the line before, look at the space between them. And that's really going to help you kind of maintain that consistent distance and get a good practice at seeing those spaces and estimating your space. You can see that I'm going to have some weird areas around here in this corner. and you just simply have to travel stitch along that edge in order to fill them up consistently. Now, uh, where will this design work best in your actual quilt? It's a foundational design, so this is going to work best really in the open, uncomplicated areas of your quilt. And we're now actually starting the third part of this design. So I've slowed everything down, and I'm going to travel stitch along this edge, getting down here, and then I'm going to start my matrix. And basically, all I'm going to do is stitch this wiggly line going up and hitting that foundation. You can see, uh, once I get one line basically set up, I'm just simply echo quilting this. A lot of echo quilting involved in this design, and it's a great way to practice that if that's a technique that you're not really used to yet. So first set uh, for matrix is to stitch a wiggly set of lines going in one direction. And then the second set are going to run perpendicular. So it kind of forms a wiggly grid. But really with this, the biggest thing to keep in mind is you're going to have some awkward areas, particularly when you get kind of into those uh, really deep wiggly lines. And the best thing to do is just simply focus on echoing those wiggly lines and travel stitching and getting your way back out. Now again, I've sped this up so that way you can see it uh, filling the entire block in this video. Now I'm going to put on some music so that you can watch this entire side of the block being filled in Edge of Reality.
Okay, so we've almost finished filling this side of Edge of Reality, and you can see how this texture is starting to take shape. Um, one really neat thing that you could do uh, whenever you're finishing this up is to run another line of travel stitching back over your foundation, just kind of darken it up just a little bit more so it really stands out. And you can see the difference in the two textures. Um, Echo Quilting has a very flowing, very fluid texture. It's following that a uh, beautiful flowing line, whereas Matrix has a very flat, directionless texture. It wants to recede, it wants to flatten everything out. That's what grids and gridded lines usually do. So it's really fun to play with, and I hope you enjoy using this in your quilt. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish Edge of Reality. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, loads of tools and supplies on this awesome hobby, and inspiration for your quilts, check out daystyledesigns.com.